I don't know if it's a nostalgia thing now. I just kind of miss the kind of old school action scenes. And uh, I think I think John Wick awoke something in me where I was like, this there is- There awoke something in me. <laughs> I, I want to. I want to. I want to. I, mean, I, want, I want more. I need more. I was, yeah, bro, if you're not chubbed up in that movie, you aren't watching the same movie. Oh <laughs> my god! Look, okay, dude, just, I, just I, admit you want to fuck Keanu Reeves. Look, I was, I, I was, I was chubbed up. I, I, dude, I'm that fight, lie. that fight on the stairs was Holy godlike, shit, was dude. So good. No, the, when uh, he tumbles down the stairs, I was like, no. The 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 gamer scene. You know, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Oh, dude, that was so the, good. The, the gamer scene. Oh my god, that was so good. I was yeah. so I chubbed. Watch these now. I was so ch- dude, just, just watch, just watch the fourth one. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll skip two and three and just watch four. It's, <laughs> like, it's just like they when they made that movie, they were like, they must have known that no other movie is going to be able to compete. They were just like, I mean, no one has. All movies are canceled after John Wick four <laughs> until John Wick five. I think like this just this, is it going to be a fifth one. Uh, well, they actually, te- well, they teased, they were, I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll talk about it. Is there any plot left? No, I don't think so, but they- Oh, perfect. There will be a fifth one then. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you're, you're implying there was a plot there originally, Joey. Yeah, that's they, what I'm saying. I, for some reason, I saw they announced that they were doing it. I was like, what? I don't know if that's Twitter bullshit, but I was like, that doesn't- gonna be a five hour movie. But either way, we're getting a bunch of prequels and stuff and Yeah, no, that lines. wouldn't surprise yeah. me. I, I, I wouldn't want the John Wick franchise to die. Just I'd yet. love to know more about the universe. Which you said didn't exist and was shit. I, I, and I you, you know, I, I thought I, I, you know, I thought I did, and then I did, and I was just like, the assassin universe is cool. It it's is a, cool. It is a really cool like idea. Like conceptually, mm. I, I fucking love the idea of this assassin universe where mm. the rules of their un- they operate within the own rules of their universe. But mm-hmm. like, it's kind of like. For me, it's kind of like the, you know, kind of like similar to horror. The more you find out about something, the less the less scary it becomes. Mm. The more I find out about the assassin universe, the less. The uh, the less mysterious. interesting and mysterious that it is, mm. and the more that I'm I'm like finding poking like holes in it. And like, why is this a thing? You know, mm. <laughs> why why do, why do things work like this? this? This makes no sense. Okay, uh, so yeah, that that was that was a big thing. But I would love to see more John Wick. I would love to see more action movies. And you can uh, go on. It's called John Wick Three. <laughs> 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 you get to watch that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll tell you what else I've been doing as well. Okay. Um, I I don't know why I've had so much free time recently. It's 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 weird. It's mysterious. Okay. Okay. Um, I've yeah. been uh, reading manga as well. <laughs> oh, what is I've, that? I've, I've been doing I've been doing doing a joke. That's his oh. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you been reading? Uh, I've been reading a manga called The Climber, and mm-hmm. it's I think. A fucking masterpiece, actually. I, Here we go. I, <laughs> like, Gig video I IRL. Like, like, an, like, an, like an actual masterpiece. And I don't know how I would actually do is a it video a new on one? it. It is not a new one. Uh, it is a pretty old one. Uh, Koko no Hito. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I have read the first couple, I think, of that. Joey's, yeah. Joey's read everything. That's the thing Sorry? About Joey's read everything in existence. Joey's read Joey has read Joey's everything. Joey's read your birth certificate. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> I've read the first couple of volumes. <laughs> okay, so it's like, let me let, let me tell you one. It's the best sports manga, but it's not really a sports manga. It's a, it's the best sports manga I've seen since, uh, I guess, sports media I've seen since Ping Pong the Animation. Ooh. It is not a, it's, it's an anime about someone who discovers like rock climbing and free soloing. Mm, okay. Uh, but it's not it's not about that at all. Um it like it's it's got a really interesting story behind the story as well because the first three volumes of this manga is your typical like shonen sports shonen bullshit kind of thing. He like enters this tournament, he he's like he he has like high school rivals and then so what happened is that about three volumes in, uh the writer, so there was a there was originally a writer and an artist team up. Mm. And the writer just left. The writer for Ugh. some reason just left, leaving it to the artist to come up with the story. Mm. So around about three volumes in, it just completely shifts from this stereotypical shonen sports mm. manga to this like life manga. And it's- See, that was the point I dropped it. So <laughs> that's why I have it. This is why hearing this part is the first time. Cause when I oh. read it, I remembered it as just, oh, it's a rock climbing movie. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so it's got, it's like one of it's, there's a few manga that I've read that has made me feel such like deep emotions as the climber has. Mm-hmm. And okay. So, so when the writer left it, 
got better. It got better. <laughs> so when the dude stopped hiring the guy, he just did it himself. Yeah. He just started making better it's like, stuff. Wow, maybe I'm goaded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because fine, it, I'll do it myself. Yeah, <laughs> because like you know, slight spoiler. Um, not not really a spoiler, but he just basically just like stops the high school bullshit, puts in a time skip, and he's just like, okay, Fuck yeah, like, mm, okay. Oh my god, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. This just sounds amazing. That's already. what yeah. we want to see. Yeah, he oh. he gets he he gets out of high school right and really starts to follow the arts of rock climbing properly and properly tries to like fall. He not only like falls in love with rock climbing, but it really uses rock climbing as a metaphor. This sounds so fucking pretentious, but like that's that's kind of why it's so good. It uses it as a metaphor for his own personal troubles mm -hmm. and shit that you hate people for and you hate society for because one of the most, one, one, one thing that I think was genius that the artist, uh, one one genius thing that the artist realized about <laughs> rock climbing um, and free soloing, right? Is, so the basis of the final plot is that he wants to climb K2, which is, you know, the second, uh, highest. second highest, hardest mountain to climb in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, there are plenty of climbers that have died while mountain climbing, rock climbing, Everest, K2, whatever. Um, and so what he used, so, what he used mountain climbing, like a mountain climbing team for, is he realized that no matter what, you can't pretend to be someone you aren't when you're in a life or death situation on a mountain, yeah. right? Mm. So when people are in a life or death situation, when your survival depends on your team members mm. and what they decide to do, whether they leave a man behind, whether they go out into a snowstorm to try and find some shelter or some, wood or something to help the team to survive you see people who who what they really are the raw people yeah. beneath all of the bullshit masks mm. that they wear in society and that leads to some of the most like hardest hitting moments and fucking amazing panels i've seen in a manga and i Damn. did not come into it expecting that from a fucking rock climbing manga it is yeah. <laughs> honestly, I think this manga is a fucking masterpiece and I've not heard a single person talk about it. So mm -hmm. I'm, I am talking about it now. If, if, if you want to see, uh, if you, if you want to read something that I think is a really, really fucking underrated manga, uh, that has some of the best art I've seen in a long time. Like I'm sold. I feel that's the problem with like a lot of mangas that like, because there's just so much out there, so much, especially that hasn't yeah. been animated mm -hmm. that you know, obviously there are anime fans and there are manga fans, but I feel right now the anime fans are kind of in the forefront talking about all the shows, whereas the manga fans are there, but they're not as, the spotlight isn't put on them as hard. Right? Yeah, yeah. So when, so there's more instances of people finding these like super unknown mm. yet super amazing manga series that no one talks about because I, I feel the spotlight is not on them. Yeah, I just get stressed out knowing that so many manga are ongoing. Uh, this one's ended. This one's oh, it's ended. It's okay, finished. good. Yeah, I, like I saw that. this one's ended. See, yeah. when it's yeah. ended, I'm like, oh, okay. yeah, okay. Seventeen yeah. volumes, I think. Okay, seventeen volumes. Yeah, that's a that's a hefty amount. That's, an, that's a hefty amount. I mean, I, I, I can't. I can't I, it's uh, here's <laughs> the thing. Okay, I kind of realized this after reading reading the climber, which is uh, obviously I know in my mind that manga and anime are different. I thought my medium of preference was like anime, but. Reading reading this manga, do you ever read a manga and you're like, there is no fucking way this could ever be a good anime, mm. right? Where's me, Poon Poon? And it, it kind of made me realize, it's gonna sound like really pretentious, like art student talk, but reading something like The Climber, it made me feel like, when w the difference between a manga and an anime is a manga is basically like a one person team, mm. right? And there's something about the visual storytelling you can feel when you, Turn around, turn on a panel, and you see amazing artwork. You, there's a, there's something you feel. You almost feel like a connection to the artist or to mm. the writer. Well, it's um, like it's like looking at a painting at an art museum, right? Or yeah. Just like this was knowing that this was made by one person, and like everything about this painting derives from this one person's mind that it came from. Yeah. And when you see like a painting that like really connects with you. You, you almost feel like, oh, I understand what this person mm. was thinking. I understand what kind of person whoever created this thing is, right? So yeah. like it makes that connection extra special. Yeah. Like, and I totally get that because like with anime, it's a massive team. 
Yeah. Right? There's lots of different people involved, mm. including yeah. the creator. So I feel it's a little, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's a lot more difficult sometimes, no matter how good the anime is mm. to have yeah. like that type of personal connection. Yeah, right? because this this doesn't apply to every manga, only like the goaded manga yeah, where yeah, I'm like, yeah. holy shit, I'm, I'm reading something so, I'm reading something that's making me feel emotions that few media have made me, been able to make me feel. And I feel like I am, this is something that the author is telling me yeah. personally, not not anyone else. This is this is something that he's trying to communicate with me. Because like um, the other example I can think of, right, is uh, Villain Saga. Mm. So good. Villain Saga is goaded in both anime and manga oh, form. Another episode today. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got another, <laughs> another episode Tuesday. today. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's it's one of the few manga that I feel has have, has gotten an adaptation that is. Oh, it's so goaded. That is, yeah that is goaded and faithful. And then I think back to my experience with the Villain Saga manga, and I think back to the experience with the Villain Saga anime, and it's weird uh, because it's like a subtle difference, but in the Villain Saga anime, it almost felt like, it, it almost feels like I, there's there's like a, there's there's the fourth wall. You know what I mean? Mm. There's the fourth wall. I'm watching a piece of entertainment and I'm, and I'm appreciating the story, but it felt like when I was reading the manga, I was like, holy shit, I'm actually feeling what, you know, Makoto Yukimura is like trying to say, trying to tell me, mm. and I can't put it. I can't really put it into words, but it's like a different kind of like appreciation between manga and anime. I think you just described my, why so many people love manga. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think I get it now. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, dude, Vinland Saga anime is going so hard. Yeah, uh, my favorite part of Vinland Saga, other than the, uh, it is absolutely an amazing piece of media, and you should watch or read it, whichever. They're both, yeah. they're both amazing, and you'll get mm -hmm. whatever. Is my favorite. My favorite, most favorite thing coming out of this is everyone being like, maybe violence isn't that good in anime. Maybe <laughs> less violence, you know? I, like, I've, there's, I've done so many video essays really? that have been yeah. like, Ben Saga just said no to violence. <laughs> and that's kind of cool. How do we feel about that voice? <laughs> it's it's, yeah. it's kind of like how like, I've seen more people because in, in Vinland Let's, Saga, right, there is a big tonal shift in the second part yeah. where violence kind of, like in the first part, violence plays a very big factor. It's kind of glorified, yeah. it's kind of cool, yeah. it's very hype. And the second part, there's like, they kind of shift it to be like, just extremely oversimplified. They're like, violence, bad, not mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And I, I've seen like, the ratio of comments, people actually complaining about the second arc to people complaining about people going to complain about the second arc is, is insane. Like mm -hmm. there's, I, I cannot find a single comment of someone saying, uh, actually I found one or two. Yeah. Like people saying this arc is boring, nothing's happening. Yeah. But I find so much more comments who being like, people just can't appreciate this. It's, they're they're going to call it boring. I'm deep because I get it. And it's like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. No one cares. It's a good show. Everyone knows this is good. Yeah. Um, Hello, I am that person. Yeah, no, because, yeah. okay, here's the thing. I think a lot of, I think a lot of people uh, expected that. Uh, just because that was kind of the- I mean, I expected that I pissed myself. Yeah. yeah, I expected that too. I, I thought it, people were gonna be turned off by it's, it. It's funny because I've seen a lot less negative comments in regards to the anime. Cause when the manga started, oh, yeah. uh, a lot of people just ended up dropping it because they're like, oh, this is boring now. You yeah, know? yeah, I think knowing that even though it is still like half a year until like kind of a bit of violence happens yeah. uh, in terms of anime runtime, mm. I think in the manga it'd be excruciatingly long if yeah. you, well, in if the you manga, were really hoping for- Yeah, you know. and in the manga, there was no like back reference, right? Like no one could go to an adaptation because this was the original yeah. source material. Whereas yeah. the anime, all the manga fans it's are like so coming good. out of their it's like bunkers so and being good. like, I'm telling you it's good, <laughs> just wait, stop complaining. It's so, it's so yeah. good, man. Yeah, like I were talking about this after martial arts and John Wick and UFC, maybe violence isn't the answer, <laughs> guys, guys. Oh, I mean, I say that as well. Then I like, I immediately finish the Vinland Saga episode. I'm like, all right, time to watch Hell's Paradise. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it's just ind indiscriminate violence. Yeah, that yeah. is just yeah. like yeah. violence 24 seven. And I'm like, this is great. Yeah, <laughs> I like, fucking love Hell's yeah, Paradise. Literally, I literally went so from Villain Saga to immediately to them watching an episode of Hell's Paradise. <laughs> and I was like, this is literally what they told me is the problem. <laughs> and I'm, I'm still doing it.